kill. All right, welcome everybody to Breaking Rad. <laughs> this is uh, a show we're going to talk about whatever we want to talk about tonight. And tonight, that thing is Z List characters. Mm -hmm. Welcome to my friends, as always, uh, Cal Jameson and uh, Mark, 6 a.m. Comics. How are you guys doing? Doing well, doing sir. Great. And uh, Mutt's not with us right now. He may, he may come later, but. Um, you guys are lucky we don't have to have him smelling up the joint. <laughs> Poor Mutt. Oh, Poor man. Mutt. Don't That's feel a sexy bad man. Him. You need to appreciate the, uh, don't feel bad the for visual that appeal he brings to this panel. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have uh, Ichthy and, and Trusty, uh, sidekick in the chat. What's going on, guys? So a couple, couple folks watching. And, and like I said, tonight we're going to, just uh, take it easy. Nothing too serious. We're going to talk about our favorite Z list or or bottom of the barrel characters, if you will. So I hope you guys got some bottom of the barrel characters. I really like oh, yeah. a uh, I like a terrible character, and uh, I got a couple of them that uh, I'm I'm happy to share. One of them is like was one of my favorite like childhood heroes, and I just found out you know as I got older that he's a terrible character that nobody <laughs> likes at all. <laughs> um, well, that means he, that means you can collect all his stuff now, and there's not going to be any uh, any demand for it. Rather, uh, well, Get shockingly enough, well, you'll see that there was there was enough demand for it, but so we'll see what <laughs> what happens. But anyway, um, so what's going on with you guys? Anything exciting in the world of comics or life or anything in general? Uh, your quarantine crisis? How's it going? Surviving. My wife came up with the uh, the idea we're going to do a, a quarantine Christmas uh, with. Well, I don't know if she came up with it. It's all over the internet, I think. But um, <laughs> we're going to do a quarantine Christmas next weekend where we let our kids like decorate a tree and stuff just to to get their mind off of uh, being stuck with grumpy old dad. That's and, uh, awesome. <laughs> so we're gonna. So we ordered some gifts and uh, we're gonna do a little Christmas surprise for him next weekend. So, that's thanks. awesome. I love yeah. that. That's that's really. Cool. I feel like our, our Christmas kind of sucked this year, so this, this is a nice like do over. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's that's uh that's about the most exciting thing happening in my world right now. <laughs> yeah, so you're you're probably working from home. You're not getting out very much. No, no, I, I barely leave the house. So oh man, we get tastier as as time goes on here. So. <laughs> what about you, Cal? What's going on? How's the quarantine treating you? Oh man, it's. Uh... It's really weird for me. I, I I'm a I'm a worship pastor at church, and um, so we've had to, you know, churches all over the country have had to go, go to online only, and right. uh, and even though I don't have to drive to the church and back, which is forty minutes both ways, I, I'm still doing more work. I'm working more, uh, I'm spending more time on <laughs> what I have to do because we've got to pre-record everything, edit it all together, and you know, yeah. It's, it's really, you know, and then in like a lot of these, a lot of these studies right now within churches are showing you should be interacting more online. So we've, we're all, the whole staff is doing, you know, multiple posts throughout the week on Facebook and stuff. And I'm posting songs, you know, two or three songs a week. Um, all that's recording and adding lyrics and stuff. So it's, it's been really weird. I mean, we're, we're all, you know, stuck in the house and, um, <laughs> And uh, my wife is, well, I mean, that's not weird. We're all doing it. My wife is a banker though. And she's kind of still, still trucking like the, she's essential. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh man. But, yeah. Yeah. So um, it's funny. My wife and I were talking tonight and uh, we have both recently within the last, uh, like her, let's see, when did she change? She changed in October. I think um, her, her job changed significantly and she went to a whole new position. Um, so 
and then myself, I changed in um, just about a month ago, my job. And if we were in the same jobs, we were when um, like, if this hit when we were in the same jobs, neither one of us would be working. Like we would be bringing in zero dollars, but um, funnily and like, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a Christian. I believe God has a plan. And I think he had a plan for us because we both moved into what is considered essential. Um, nice. And she is at, uh, she works at our, our local hospital. She actually is, um, she works with psych patients. So she talks to them um, uh, when people come in with a, a crisis and uh, go to the emergency department. She talks to those people and then figures out where they need to go from there and what kind of treatment. And she recommends that to doctors and then doctors write their scripts and, send them on their way, like help them out that way. And then, um, I actually, uh, it's, it doesn't sound essential, but I I work for, I work in the the bike industry and, uh, I'm at a shop and, um, it is the busiest thing. Like I cannot tell you how busy my life is because everybody wants to ride everybody. You can't do anything, but you can ride a bike outside. That's a, that's a thing you can get out and do. And, uh, and, and so that's what everybody wants to do. Like, our, my life is insanely busy just because of, of bikes at the moment, like more oh, wow. than it would normally be. It's crazy. Um, so, so yeah. Uh, so it's funny cause our life has not changed sl- like very much other than the fact we can't go out to eat. <laughs> we yeah. have to bring the Which food I actually back consider home. a blessing cause taking my kids out to a restaurant is a, is Oh, a, it's the worst, man. Stuff. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so actually I'm, I'm cut. There are some aspects of this. I'm kind of a genius. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of, I don't know. It's not, you know, it's a weird, it's strange. And my kids are, are like getting really weird and like, uh, they, they're have like shut in syndrome or something. I don't know. Like they're just like strange. <laughs> Um, but otherwise it ha- it's been business as usual for us. Like I'm going out every day and going to work and uh, unfortunately I have to interact with a lot of people. So we basically glove up, mask up and, um, you know, people are still coming to buy bikes and get bikes fixed. And like, they're trying to get me to do, like I do a lot of skills and stuff and they're trying to get that. And they're like, no, we can't do that. You're crazy. So anyway, <laughs> Cal, you reminded me oh, yeah. of uh, doing your, your your worship services on uh, online. I, I just saw uh, the other night Will Smith did a did an online concert with Jazzy Jeff. <laughs> no way! On his YouTube. Really? <laughs> yeah, he posted the video. It looked awesome. He had this giant screen behind him. It was just Jazzy Jeff back there doing his thing, and then he was rapping over it. And they had like just tons of like people on Zoom that were just uh, all tuned in. All, uh, all that's cool. That's like incredible. Actually, <laughs> it's phenomenal. <laughs> I picture that's what you're. Uh, your, your worship services are like, you got a giant screen Cal- behind you. Yeah. Cal- you got the worship guitar Jazzy guy Jeff. there. <laughs> Jazzy-, <laughs> Jazzy Cal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nothing like that. I'm, I, we're, we're, pretty, we're pretty bare bones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's interesting. I have a really good friend who's a pastor, um, and he's in Michigan, actually. And uh, he has... Uh, I like, I guess they're doing okay, but he was here actually the day they announced that they're going to start these closings. Like, Oh, we're losing Cal, I think, but oh, um, I'm back. there he is. So it, it was crazy. Cause he was like, get, he came here. Um, he's a bike, you know, friend. So we were doing a lot of mountain biking while he was in the area. And um, we like had, we had this big dinner plan. My wife was like cooking dinner for everybody and we're hanging out and eating. And he was like, yeah, um, uh, I just got a call from like the, the, um, uh, I guess his denominations, like leader in that area. It was like, yeah, you guys are shutting down. You you have to do everything, um, you know, over the internet now. And, uh, he's like, I think it's a little, you know, it's a little jump in the gun or whatever. And then a week later it was like, everything shuts down. Yeah. Um, everybody had to learn real quick how to do live streams and use Facebook live and, and all that. So, right. Um, it's a weird world we're living in at the moment. I'm I'm kind of ready for things to get back to the to the usual. Yeah, me too. There's no Christians in Michigan. What are you talking about? <laughs> there's, a lo- <laughs> there's a couple, and there's a lot of infected people. Michigan's way up there. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> well, we're all surviving the quarantine. I'm glad you guys are okay. Hopefully, everybody out there watching 
is uh is doing well also so let's uh let's go ahead and shift gears a little bit and let's talk about terrible uh terrible characters z-list characters if you will so i guess the best definition for this is characters who uh you know you have your a-listers like um I mean, even to a point, Captain America wasn't an A-lister for a while because no, the Avengers like were kind of a B-team for a long time. He was like a B-lister uh, like, as far as I'm concerned for the longest you, time. <laughs> yeah, you, but you know, now like Cap is, a, is an A-lister because the Avengers are cool again. But, yeah. you know, Wolverine's an A-list character, all the X-Men, Spider-Man, of course, um, you know, people like that. You, got, you have your B-listers in the comic world. Like I said, the Avengers are kind of B-list for a long time. Uh, you know, and, and you kind of go on down the line to you get to these characters that you're like, why was that created? Mm-hmm. So, um, <laughs> so I, I asked you guys, and this is, I think this is Mutt's idea, but, uh, we asked you guys to, to pick whoever y- you could, that would be your favorite, you know, Z list, if you will, character. Um, and I got a couple to share. Uh, so I'll go ahead and, and, and share, you know, my, my favorite and, uh, and then I'll let you guys go. So, um, my favorite, he was my favorite growing up, um, as a kid, I thought this guy had the coolest look. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just give you a rundown and maybe you can just start picturing how awesome this guy is in your mind. All right. <laughs> First of all, he wasn't afraid to wear white after Labor Day. All right. So he's wearing white. Uh, he likes, uh, pouches and, uh, head padding. He, he dual wields swords uh, they're not only not only a single blade. Some there's one with a double blade. Uh, he has mystical powers. He can shoot. Uh, I guess his his swords allow him to shoot energy projections, and they're able to cut through any sort of magical artifacts or magical force fields and stuff. Um, and uh, he has a ponytail and a half cape. Do you guys have any clue who it is? I mean, I know because he told me. <laughs> <laughs> he's he is a reality tv star warrior clone dual blade sword wielding gay time traveling founding member of x-force <laughs> it's shatterstar oh <laughs> cal's like oh ooh. <laughs> he's a he's a founding member of x-force yeah, he's, right? the, yeah. he's the founding member of x-force man wow i had the action figure for a while just because i like yep. that blade I, I have one uh actually I think he yeah, exactly. That's exactly what he did. I have one sitting. Uh, he's he's sitting on the dash of my truck, and he has he has two uh, uh, double blade swords. It's pretty awesome. So because uh, the swords go both ways. Is that... so, exa- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so sh- so he's he's kind of terrible. I'll give you guys. Uh, you know, I thought he was the coolest when I was growing up. First of all, created by Rob Liefeld, um, yeah. who love him or hate him. Uh, the guy has created some memorable, long-lasting characters. Shatterstar has been in like literally thousands of comics. So whether he is a good character or not, he has like he has made you know he's lasted. He's shelf stable. He's still going. Um, but uh, a couple interesting facts. Obviously, he's from the future. He's from Mojo World, uh, which is a reality TV loving uh, warrior kind of uh uh society and they it, it it's kind of like i don't know like the hunger games all the time there and they like the best-selling tv show is the one where they just put gladiators together and watch them fight to the death well shatterstar is the gladiator that made it out and never lost he's like kind of the perfect genetic specimen um and he has a very weird history uh Parent, uh, so, so long shot. If you guys know the mutant long shot, he only has four fingers. He has a, a really uh, incredible mullet. You know what I'm talking oh, it's about? Beautiful, beautiful. It's beautiful, L- long, flowing, luxurious mullet. Mm. And um, he actually is lo- uh, long shot's father, and he's long shot's son. <laughs> <laughs> so he's his own grandfather, which is incredible. Oh impossible <laughs> so uh evidently what has happened is that um in one one co- issue of the comic shatterstar fell like somebody states that shatterstar fell out of the sky and that's how they found him uh they used him to clone 
um, someone who was long shot. So they, they grew long shot in a test tube. Mm. Um, then uh, Shatterstar went back in time to, he joined the X-Force and he, um, he was trying to find the X-Men, I think. And then when he came back in time, found like he met Longshot. They got along really well. Uh, and he actually uh, met up with Longshot and Dazzler as Dazzler was having a baby, which happened to be him because <laughs> Longshot impregnated uh, Dazzler, who had Shatterstar as a baby. And so it's this crazy, weird. Oh, is Dazzler his mom? I didn't know that. D- Dazzler's his mom. Hmm. Uh, so it's this crazy, weird. Um, uh, circle of strangeness. <laughs> anyway, he's his own grandpa. Um, he is he is uh, gay. I didn't know this. When he, I mean, I, you know what? If if you're in that, good for you. Uh, it's not my thing. But he had just talking about a major major can your microphone break up. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we lost them, but uh, I, I did not know that about Shatterstar. I just know. Uh, I, I mean, I know that now. I bet the, the the dad and the mom, the Dazzler thing, the other thing I knew about. But I knew none of it. I knew none of it. <laughs> yeah, I knew about there the. You go. I'm hey, there he is. <clears throat> oh, good. You good? I'm good. I don't know. Like I said, my internet, everybody out there watching, my internet is absolute garbage right now. So, anyway. <laughs> so, uh, what was the last thing you heard, or what were you guys talking about? Uh, <laughs> you, you were talking about his bisexuality, I believe. Mm. And then, you're, he then is, you might conveniently lost uh, lost connection there. <laughs> yeah, well, he... For anybody who doesn't know... Shatter, uh, uh. <laughs> yep, Shatterstar goes always. Um, and the last thing I was going to let you guys know is that uh, his Achilles heel is Wolverine. He Ooh. hasn't lost to anybody except Wolverine. And, you know, Wolverine's the best at what he does. So, hmm. oh. so, well, I'm, so I'm surprised they haven't gone there yet. But Right. So, Shatterstar, <laughs> what do you guys think <laughs> as far as Z-List goes? I, um, I, I always thought he was – when I was growing up, I, I didn't know a lot of these characters unless they had an action figure. Right, because um, I, I didn't have a ton of the comics. I went off the the trading cards and the action figures were, were my knowledge of, of most Marvel, and um, that action figure was one of my favorites. Those swords were like the most unique because most most of these these toys had like um, very generic like die cut weapons and things that they would have, and his was like the only one that had that that double blade looking yeah. thing. I remember just seeing him in the stores. He always had he was like right next to all these other ones. He just he, he just stood out. I was like oh, I gotta have that one. And yeah, I, uh, I saved up a ton of money once number. I got man. that five bucks and went, and go, went, went to go buy them. <laughs> That's right. I mean, you got it. Like he, he has, he looks, he looks awesome. He's dressed differently than all the others. He has a sweet half cape. He's got swords. He can shoot energy projections. Like, come on, what kid in the, uh, the nineties <laughs> is not going to go for that. Can I, uh, yeah. am I allowed to, to share my screen here? Is that a thing I'm able to Oh do? yeah. Share your screen here. Will that, will uh, that kill your internet or? Uh, no, no, no. It's. I think we're good on that. Okay. I was gonna say I um I went through this this exercise of drawing three hundred different Marvel characters like two years ago. Am I sharing still? Am I good? Uh, there we go. Hey, so I, I drew him. Uh, number there he ago. is. So, here's nice. that boy. <laughs> Not yeah, the best drawing was, of him, but yeah. It looked like he was the proto prophet. Like when Rob went over to Image, he's like, "Hey, I yeah. thought he was Shatterstar again, but I'll make him." Yeah, like, yeah this is like the, the, the shoulder era. pad and pouch era, and like he had shoulder pads on his face. Like yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> well, probably like had that of, same face thing, or that like he did. It's yeah. Um, and, and you know, like I, I think what happened was he designed Shatterstar, and then he was like, "I'm kind of missing the boat on this guy," and he went over and he did Prophet, who I think is actually a good character, like a much yeah. better character. Yeah, um, I like Prophet I, a lot. I still love Shatterstar. Like y'all look, there's long shot, but you got his his four <laughs> fingers. <laughs> that's, yeah. a, that's just by default. I should have drew him a three because uh, <laughs> yeah. have four fingers. <laughs> oh yeah, but, and, uh, um, I think I got Dazzler in here too. Oh, you do? All right. Sweet Dazzler, hang on here. So, so um, do that girl. Yeah, I, I like. Um, there she is. Yeah, nice. Nice. <laughs> anyway, that's. Uh, I I I always liked the uh, um, I always liked Shatterstar, but yeah, I think Prophet was a great character too. And like uh, Trusty says that. Um, 
He said, Rob is a great cheerleader for comics, always pumped in front of an audience. And there's this really, really good video. And um, Mutt would be really upset if I told you that um, he sent, sent it to me. But he was actually the one that um, gave me to watch this video. And I'm going to put it into the chat because everybody should watch it. And it's basically why it, it's, it's titled is uh, Rob Liefeld, the Kurt Cobain of comics. And um, mm. if you watch it, like whatever you feel about him, like some people hate him uh, and absolutely can't stand him. Some people love him and some people are just like, he's a garbage artist, but whatever. But if you go and, and watch that video, I'm uh, I'm pretty sure your mind will be changed about, about the man. Um, and Mutt is not a Rob Liefeld fan, but he watched it and he's like, you know what? I, I kind of like him. I watched that mm. video and I was, I was pretty into it. So you guys need to give him a hard time about that later. <laughs> All right, I'll definitely check it out. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll put it in the chat. Uh, but yeah, he's a uh, so so that's Shatterstar. Uh, my uh, hold on, what did I write? He's uh, my reality TV star, warrior clone, dual blade, sword wielding, gay, time traveling, founding member of X Force. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So you could have worked at Marvel if that was your pitch initially. That would have. Uh... <laughs> Without saying who it is, you probably could have gotten a job there just uh, yeah, now, using yeah. that for your pitch initially. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you still there? Did we lose you? Yeah, he's gone. Uh oh. <laughs> Are you there? All right, I'm back. I'm sorry. I, I've like got up and moved closer to the, uh, hopefully closer to the router so I can get some better uh, internet. There you go. What were you saying? Uh, that was the what? I, something about working for Marvel. Oh, I said you could have worked for Marvel if you if you just gave him that pitch. If, uh, I know, right? We didn't know who Shadowstar was. That <laughs> you would have had a job immediately. <laughs> yep. Sorry for this internet trouble, guys. It just keeps yeah. conking out on me. Um, it would be the same way if one of you guys was running the stream. Anyway, let's keep hmm. moving. Uh, who wants to go next? Should I flip a coin? I can. I can go next. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go next. So mine, I, I don't. I didn't pick anybody. I was. I was uh, a huge fan of. Uh, when I was little or anything, cause I was a fan of all the mainstream guys growing up. Um, but I, I discovered this guy, I showed those pictures of, the, of those 300 characters. Uh, I discovered this guy on accident. I, I never followed Avengers, uh, too closely, but he was one of, uh, one of the Avengers in the eighties. And, uh, he has a very, uh, amazing costume. Um, I'm not going to bother trying to do the fancy description like you did. So I'll just <laughs> say it's, uh, it's 3d man. <laughs> Three D um, man. I I don't know if this guy is is C list B list. I, I I just I've never heard of this guy until a I don't know years if ago. I've ever heard of him at all. So he's got to be pretty far down, I would imagine. Yeah, and and I I remember originally I, I looked him up and I, I didn't think there was anything interesting about him. He just seemed like one of those generic Marvel guys who like their power is being really strong and tough. Yeah. Um, but his backstory was actually kind of interesting. He's um, he had. A brother. There was a brother named Hal and a brother named I, I want to say Chuck. You know, I got a thing up here. I just want to make sure I don't get the name wrong. Uh, yeah, Chuck. And I guess they were pilots. They were they were big in the the fighting the scroll. Apparently, if anybody uh, is, is you know, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on most of his backstory. But I think I get the gist. They were they were pilots. It was very similar to Captain Marvel. Like they were uh, you know they were fighting the scroll. They were fighter pilots. And then uh, some horrible crash happened. And. Uh, when Hal woke up, his brother was missing, and he assumed he died. And so he put on this pair of glasses that he found. And his brother had somehow, in, in the midst of the crash, through some, whatever means, we'll, we'll say scroll magic, uh, he somehow became a 2D character uh, that was like trapped inside of his glasses. And so and when he put the glasses on, he would go unconscious and project this 3D image of his brother, who had this, uh, who had all the generic superpowers. Like he's super fast, super strong, and he, you know, he punches really hard. Oh. And, that, and that was 3D man. But I, I think he's got one of the coolest costumes. I'm going to bring up. All I'm right. just going to use the version I drew. Um, ooh, there he is. Here he is, right here. This is 3D man. Uh, <laughs> He's, I don't know. I, I love that costume, but that's him. He's, he's just, uh, I, I don't know anything about this guy. I don't know his, his history. Really. I, I knew he was in the Avengers for a little while and, um, wow. I, I, I can't imagine why, why he faded into obscurity. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, he's basically Max Hedrum in the Marvel universe. I yeah. Guess. Yeah. 
It probably would have been better if they just would have thrown Matt, Max Hedrum into the uh, into oh the comedy. Oh my gosh! Head. Now that that's a pop culture uh, B lister that that doesn't get enough attention. That's, <laughs> that's right. Killer. Yeah, I, I don't got much to say on this guy. That I, I just I was it was I was gonna go with either him or Machine Man. Um, ah, Machine Man. Okay, yeah. He's also in, incredibly stupid. Um, I, and also I actually have Avengers. A, the Avengers sucked. I'm sorry. <laughs> they they <laughs> did. Yeah, I have a list. Uh, I have a list of some that I'm gonna go through too. And when when Cal's done, I have a, a couple others of notable mention that I want to give you guys and see if you remember. Do it up. Yeah, All I'm right. good. I'm, I'm a lot of stuff now. No, that was All my, right. My what do you got, Cal? You have, do you have a favorite uh, Z-list character? <laughs> so, okay. So, we were talking earlier in DMs. Mm-hmm. I actually didn't know a lot of, uh, you know, back-tier, uh, bottom-tier characters uh, or any, really. Um, I started collecting comics in the 90s w- because of Image. So, like, it was Spawn, you know, it was uh, Gen 13 and Wildcats and um profit and all those those things right so none of those are z-list they're all yeah they're all top tier uh right. image characters and then then i started collecting um you know very you know sporadically within dc marvel and stuff and then you know dark horse with uh, uh hellboy um mm-hmm. but everything i everything i've ever been into has been you know major characters so i had to kind of do some research on this and i'm really glad i did because number one maybe we can do another episode another uh episode and do like like non a tier characters because there's there's some really cool like c or d tier uh characters um like there's one called resurrection man um super freaking cool uh rag have you guys heard of Ragman? Yeah, I've heard of Ragman. Rag yeah. Super cool, very cool characters. Uh, so, but those are those are cool enough to be, you know, C or D list. But then I then I then I dug down into the, uh, you know, the the stinky, uh, you know, bottom of the bucket of comic book characters, and I found this guy named Solomon Ulysses Solomon Archer. Have you heard of him? Oh uh, yeah. I, so I, I've only heard of him because he was on a list of something <laughs> oh, okay. that I looked up earlier. Yeah, yeah, that then I found him on a list. Um, and so I, I'm I can't recite uh chapter and verse from memory. I'm gonna have to read it to you, That's but I guarantee good. it's gonna be worth it. Uh this is this just made my day that I found this character. <laughs> so okay, Ulysses Solomon Archer is a trucker from America. Yeah. Uh, right. now his parents were also truckers, uh, but they were killed in uh, an accident. It doesn't say, but I'm assuming it was a trucking accident. Um uh, he and his Gotta brother be. were taken in by. Uh, <laughs> he and his brother were taken in by Papa Wheelie, and <laughs> Wide Load Annie, at the Shortstop Diner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it gets better. So, <laughs> so Ulysses Solomon Archer and his brother were raised by truckers who were killed. And then a couple named Papa Wheelie and Wide Load Annie, who were not really? his parents, the truckers, took them in. Uh, I love how they say and, raised by truckers like it's a pack of wolves. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, right. Raised by those raised mystical by truckers. truckers. Uh, so he attended college, and then he was run off the road by a, by a villain named Highwayman. Um, <laughs> that's, a little, that's a little more normal. <laughs> yeah, now, right. When he was run off the road, the top part of his skull was sheared off. And um, so then it was replaced by an experimental alloy and that gives him his superpower, um, which is a, he's able to pick up certain radio frequencies. So wait, wait a minute. Wait, <laughs> none of this stuff about being raised by truckers and Papa Willie has anything to do with his origin other than he got hit by a car. No, no, he, <laughs> but he's a trucker now who can pick up radio frequencies with his skull Instead of on the little CB thing that they talk into, I don't um, know that's a superpower. I feel like people get that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. If, if you have a hearing aid, I think you get that. that that's your he, superpower. He actually, <laughs> okay, I'll get to that. So there, we'll come back to that. So, oh, uh, so he vows to track down this villain, the Highwayman, right? Who is responsible for him having superpowers? So I don't know why he's so upset. What's the, what's um, the trucker's arch nemesis? What is uh, what's the the job? Like Amazon, <laughs> <laughs> like a drone. Is that, is that, is yeah, that a drone? Yeah, probably a drone. Uh, <laughs> see, now he, this I love this line. College skill. He uses his college skills to customize Ooh. his truck 
with weapons to aid him to aid him in this. So he's he gained co- skills at college to be able to like a team a truck. Weapon uh, a truck. Um, so uh, later he and the staff of the of the the shortstop, um, Mom, uh, Papa Wheelie and Wide Load Annie's uh, rest stop uh, <laughs> or diner or whatever, it's transported into space and then it becomes the star shop. So it's like um, you know when Jefferson Airplane became Jefferson Starship. It's kind of like a <laughs> kind of similar to that. Um, and uh, then he re- he wins a race against his brother to become a tr- a trucker for Al and his species. Uh, did they say what college he went to, or did he just get college powers from his, his metal plate? No, he, <laughs> he went to college, but it doesn't say. I'm sure be- they don't say because if you went to that college, you could do the same thing with your truck. The only thing yeah. I learned in college was was how to poop really quietly when someone's in the stall next to you. <laughs> <laughs> So he ends up tangling with scrolls and stuff, but I want to get to uh, his abilities. So this is a, his abilities like listed on the Marvel website. He's oh, he's, a, abilities, yeah. okay. he's a college level engineer. Oh, <laughs> he has college education that makes him incredibly proficient with engineering, such as being able to outfit his truck with various gadgets and oh make a remote gosh. control for it out of a silver dollar. What, what? college teaches that? We're gonna teach you how well, to. He make obviously a- went to, to UMass Lowell. Yeah. <laughs> when, like when uh, w- when was this character created? Do you know? Uh, let's see. Um, this sounds like a I don't even know eighties oh, thing. Say, please say like two thousand fifteen. Yeah, uh, maybe early two thousands. Oh, nope, please. it's eighties. Nineteen eighty three. Eighties. All right. Yeah. College was still a, a magical thing back then. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It stinks, do the, it stinks of the stinks of the eighties for sure. Oh, yeah. Man. I mean, the silver do- learning in college how to create a remote control with a, that's a silver dollar that control that can control a Mack truck. Some, yeah, somebody was watching over the top one too many times, and they're like, "I got an idea for." A I was character. gonna say, is this is this like a cinematic universe with over the top? Is it right? <laughs> oh, that would, ooh, they should do that if they if they yeah, had right. that plan. Marvel, if you're listening, yeah. Uh, Okay, last couple of things. He's a okay. Another. This is also under his powers and abilities. He's a skilled driver. He <laughs> has. He can race people and then and beat them with his truck. Uh, very <laughs> various villains, in fact. Um, even one that was flying a blimp. Oh my um, gosh! There was a blimp villain. There's a blimp villain. He's a proficient fighter. He can go toe to toe with people much stronger and larger, and win. Um, and then this is the one we already talked about. He's got a metal plated skull. Uh, let's see. His skull was his cranium. His top of his cranium was replaced with highly durable metal to protect his uh, brain. And, um, he can, it can now be used to give, uh, lethal headbutts and tune into CB radio transmissions. Oh my God. Um, and he, he can change free serious XM. Yeah. And, well, <laughs> he can change the channels just by, Touching the fillings in his teeth with his tongue. I love that he is filling. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but, That's the, but the plate is a double-edged sword because it also makes him susceptible to magnets and electric oh, yeah. electronic scrambling devices. Did somebody and actually also, uh, illustrate uh, in the comics him touching his tongue to with his his teeth with his <laughs> tongue to change the I should have uh, I should have researched that. But he can Sit. also be hypnotized more easily now because he has a, a metal plate in his head for some Ooh, reason. This is kryptonite. Wow. Hypnosis. And there you go. Ulysses. Wow. Ulysses Archer. US1. US1. <laughs> a high tr- wow. a high adventure trucking down the highway is what it says on issue number one. Yeah, US1 uh, is his little superhero name. US1. Yeah, US he's US1. <laughs> he he kind of looks like his truck kind of looks like Optimus Prime in truck form. Um and the highwayman kind of looks like um he he looks like if you like if you imagine Napoleon wearing like a red like tight fitting um you know brocaded jacket and like a a sash and big epaulets with like tassels on it. That's what the yeah. high, highwayman looks like. Oh, okay, really I didn't funny. even look him up. I, I just looked it up. I just wanted to see what the issue, the comic looked like, and the the art doesn't look. This actually I mean, looks really good. Like the art, it actually yeah. looks pretty good. This yeah, is like um, like peak eighties art right here. Yeah, right. I, I, I'm I'm intrigued. I'm really intrigued by this one. I want to check out more. I definitely right. do. There there is okay. There's I 
I for some reason the page I was looking at didn't have this info, but the list yeah. that I the, it might be the same list you looked at has this little bit. He drives a satanic eighteen wheeler <laughs> that he picked up by selling his soul to the devil. Yeah, I think it's the same list. I did not. Um, that's not for some reason not on the Marvel page, but that is that's an important detail. This is the, the heroes uh, backstory. Yeah, the soul to the devil. yeah, the heroes yeah. Soul, soul to the devil would have been, been Mephisto in the Marvel universe, right? And, he... Yeah, I don't know, maybe Mephisto. Yeah, um, <laughs> it, when his head was crushed, he miraculously didn't die. Was subsequently <laughs> he had the skull removed and reformed with a metal plate that gave him his superpower, being he able to pick up CB a, radio transmission. He also was married to, to Mary Jane Watson and had to to give he, her up. To, to right, see trucking career. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so, so, uh, <clears throat> so that that's pretty incredible. Uh, that might be that might win for tonight. But I did have some that's notable phenomenal. mentions on this list that yeah, uh, I think Cal looked on the same list, and there's some really funny ones on here. Uh, so I think we should go through and talk about some of these before we move on. But yeah, um, uh, the the number twenty seven on the list, um, which I thought. Uh, was pretty good. Uh, I think ultimately is a good character, but uh, so poorly used is Jubilee. Yeah, um, she is. Yeah, like, I love Jubilee. <laughs> I think she's I a really great like character, Jubilee. but she's just not. She's just not used in. In I, I guess the great. A great is she way. considered not not a? You know, not like I top don't know. I was gonna assume she I, was just because of the X Men affiliation. But. Yeah, I mean, she's and she's kind of like you know, like in her and cartoon. Logan have. Yeah, they have like. Uh, a bond and stuff. So I'd I'd say she's really more than than like Z list. She was in some of these a lot of those old Wolverine comics too. I remember that she was in a bunch of them. Right. Wolverine. Yeah. And there's a, a like if you're looking at um some of the others on this list, she is much higher than that. So just yeah. like in number twenty six, I'm gonna yeah. read for you guys. This is uh from DC Comics and it's a character called Vibe. Yeah. And uh <laughs> And Vibe, yeah, he's on um, CW, right? He's on the, the yeah, Flash show. They redid he, him completely, right? Oh, really? oh <laughs> gosh. He uh, it, it, he's, he basically is wearing like MC Hammer style canary yellow pa parachute pants. Um, says, uh, let's see, what does he say? Uh, sporting an eye patch, wearing a bag of crap. Yes, he had a power. <laughs> his power being able to shoot t uh, teeny sonic vibes from his hands. <laughs> From his jazz hands. Teeny. From his jazz hands, yeah. And he was he was introduced as part of the Justice League, and this is back when um, no. this is when break break dancing was huge back in 1984. Vibe. Wow. Yep. Um, we have the the red bee, <laughs> uh, which is uh, let's see, he's kind of like the Green Hornet. Um, he's like a powerless vigilante. He looks pretty lame. He just has like a red costume with like a uh, striped yellow pants. Um, this one though, the next one I was pretty excited about and it's Phil Grayfield who is NFL superhero. Yes. I saw that. <laughs> In 1991, uh, they, he had a 12 issue series. Wow. Uh, he he got through twelve issues, if you can believe that. Just longer uh, than the Max uh, Pagio book, I think. Um, <laughs> oh, what'd you say? Uh, what, what'd you say? Yeah, yeah oh, so go ahead. I said that's longer than any Max Pagio series. I think. Yeah, right. I think you're right. <laughs> um, Good job. Go, go ahead, Mark. Here, if you let me share my screen here, I got a. Yeah. I got old school vibe for you. Here's oh yeah. Oh, that's him. There he is. That. <laughs> that's great. Where's his iPad? <laughs> that's nice. awesome. That is vibe for sure. Perfect. <laughs> God, Mark, killing it with these things. Uh, All kinds let's of see, Doctor Doctor <laughs> Spectro, who looks kind of like Polka Dot Man from uh, from Marvel Comics. Um, yeah. Guess who else is on here? Squirrel Girl made it on that uh, list. I think that's a that's wow. a good choice. Right. Um. Lady Let's Stilt see. Man. <laughs> lady lady Stilt, Stilt Man. Man? So there's Stilt Man, but then there's Lady Stilt Man. Why? Why not please Stilt say it's Lady the same or person. Stilt, Stilt lady, Woman? Right? Oh, please say it's the same person. <laughs> no, nope. It's Lady Stilt Man. That's funny. It says. Uh, it says her powers resemble that of Stilt Man, i.e., crap. She has, <laughs> she has telescopic legs and an armored suit, and there's nothing particularly appealing about her. I mean, she's not even sexy. She's been beaten by Deadpool by removing a manhole cover. Yes, she fa she falls in. 
<laughs> that's awesome. He's got legs for days. That's right. Uh, the Wizard. You guys remember oh, yeah. from? Uh, was it? A, there was a maybe it was Jessica Jones or or something. The Wizard. Oh, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. It was on Jessica Jones. They kind of redid it. Anybody knows that little. guy. Yeah, the the it's pretty. I mean, he's the Flash, like a bad version of the Flash. Uh, like it says though, an uber brilliant doctor. Um, Dr. Frank throws in medicine into, uh, let's see, medicine to the wind and saves Robert by transfusing him with mongoose blood. He soon discovers that Robert has developed super speed. And the mongoose oh, blood was because it was because he was bit by a cobra and they're yes. natural enemies. So, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so you go fast. Yeah, no, I get it. That makes you go fast. It makes, <laughs> that's yeah, so that's right. Yeah. It's so bad. Uh, Oh wait, he said uh, it says that he uh, he spent years battling alcoholism and depression and homelessness, and eventually died thinking Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver were his children. <laughs> this poor guy! Oh my oh, god! Guy. I mean, was god. that a happy thought for him? Like he died? Proud yeah, of, I guess of, so. Of maybe. Offspring? Yeah, maybe. That'd be a good way to go. <laughs> no, man. Uh, <laughs> let's see what else do we got here? Um, Wall Russ. That's a uh, that's from. Um, Rocket Raccoon, uh, Ulysses Solomon Archer, US One, yeah, the Blue Snowman. <laughs> this is a DC Comics <laughs> uh, character. It was a nemesis to Wonder Woman. The Blue Snowman fought with guns, well, snow guns that could create a reverse blizzards. The Blue Snowman is in fact a woman posing as a man dressed as a blue snowman. <laughs> Oh man, uh, she was imprisoned for a time, oh, but then she escaped uh, and uh, formed Villain Incorporated with some other lame, not so lame she villains. She's now fallen into obscurity, hopefully, never to be drawn or spoken out loud again. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty good. Um, oh, here's one that actually got used recently in Marvel Comics Cypher. You guys know Cypher? Hmm. So his ability yes. is he can speak any language. Yeah, he, he can get them all right. Uh, um, so you said I, that's, that's New Mutants, New Mutants, right? Is it? Uh, yeah, I think he. Yeah, New Mutants Volume One in eighty three, but they just used him recently in that House of X. Um, oh, and I I just I started reading it because I have Marvel Unlimited on my iPad, so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna like check it out strange but professor uses them uh you lose them we lost you again buddy oh no <laughs> as we said i think cypher was, oh, was relevant because he uh he was able to communicate with uh with warlock or somebody right wasn't it uh, yeah well so like um sorry i had a, dropped a out again. The team hey welcome um back. they yeah, they used him to talk to Krakoa, who is a mutant that is a basically an island, and it's like a no space for the X Men. It's like their secret base now because the X Mansion uh. has been destroyed so many times. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah, so they they recently used him. It's kind of cool, but he's ultimately a useless character. He can't do anything. I drew him too, but uh, he's not worth showing. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a guy in a black suit, right? <laughs> I, I think he literally he he had that generic X Men uniform that all the new mutants have that yellow, whatever leotard that they wore. Right, right. And his only defining feature was like blonde hair or something. Like he, he was yeah, just, he had blonde hair. He was just a dude that that spoke different languages. Um, okay. I wish I'd have gone further on this list, Dan, because yeah, there's some good stuff, isn't it? Black Condor. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's a baby born in Mongolia during an expedition. But he, die, he dies, supposedly. Except he doesn't die. And instead of condors eating him, they raise him. <laughs> and they teach him to fly. <laughs> it's so yes, stupid. The condors um, teach the man to is fly. He, uh, <laughs> is he black by any chance? Is that uh... no, no. no. And his name is Black Condor? And he's from the, yeah. what, the 80s? Was he 80s? But, yeah, uh, it's... Uh, no, 1940. 1940, yeah. Uh, it's okay. his, uh, it's his, he's found by a mountain her hermit who teaches him how to speak, sends him back to America to fight and become a senator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, we missed the, we missed comics. We're, we're not, we're not oh, in the, living man. in the right era. Yeah, we clearly missed the golden yeah. age of, 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> the black condor. You still you still with us, Dan? No, no. So next one is asbestos lady. Bestest, like uh, she's better uh, than best. As bestest, as in the stuff that you shouldn't have oh. in your buildings anymore. Is she fireproof? Is that is that her? Uh... I think that's I think that's the gist. It was at the height of its popularity. <laughs> so she she was created in 1947. So that was the height of asbestos uh, popularity. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she she made a suit out of it, which meant she was flame retardant. Which oh, so she. <laughs> So she died young, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So she's pretty much. So it says she's immune to the human torch, unless you count the time when he melted her boobs to the asphalt. <laughs> Is that a thing that happened? That's what it says. Oh come on. Uh, what did I miss? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, Number nine. Lady. Number nine. Oh, <laughs> asbestos lady. Yes. <laughs> Who well, I was just saying probably did not have a very long lifespan. In, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she passes out cancer. This Christopher C awesome. says it's it really is incredible. Oh. We should have found this list first and then each uh, taken like five. Oh off yeah. Of it. Uh, <laughs> I, I wish I, I found it last minute. Like I said, I've been slammed at work, and it was. Uh, these are way more interesting than three D, man. This yeah, is, uh, there, there's some really man. good ones here. Uh, all of section eight. What is that? Prodi. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Cal's getting the wheezes. It's gonna be good. <laughs> we got, buddy. I don't even need to. I, I don't need to read anything more than the name of number five. His name. Yeah, his name yeah. is his name is Arm Fall Off Boy. Yep. <laughs> I, I've seen Arm Fall Off Boy before. <laughs> so this is the conversation. Uh, so he was created by Kurt Swan. So this is the conversation, Kurt. So, DC, what up? Yo, I've got this idea for a guy who can detach his arms and use them as clubs. Having a bit of trouble thinking of names, though. Fancy helping? DC, sure, how about Leper? Kurt, nah. DC, Mr. Potato Arms? Kurt, <laughs> too obscure. I need something more explanatory. DC, arms fall off, boy? Nailed it. I feel like that's a power you can only use once. <laughs> yes! <laughs> No way. You, you lose that first club, oh you're screwed. What do you, what do you do? <laughs> this list he is looks so good. ridiculous. Yeah. So instead uh, of punching no. with two fists, you're just going to pull your arm off and, and kind of it, slap people around. It, <laughs> it literally shows a picture of him holding his arm with his other arm, and he's hitting. There's like just like guys and, and a woman standing there, and he's hitting them with his arm. <laughs> and you see like he's the – you see, like the sucking wound where his arm used yes. to be. It's yeah. so gross. Why it's not? So do terrible. We can just make him look like an action dummy. figure with a little uh, plastic <laughs> thing sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> so, so number oh, four God. also just yes. is it keeps getting better. Like this list ke just keeps giving. <laughs> It says, look at the monstrosity unfolding before your eyes. After being knocked down by a girl for not being big enough, instead of pimping out his car like a normal person, he decided to pimp out his crotch like a crazy person. <laughs> a crazy person with guns, cannons, boxing gloves, and scissors in his crotch. <laughs> he'd want to watch out for kickback from some of those weapons. Insert crude penis joke. <laughs> His name is Codpiece, and he's from Vertigo, DC County. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> I need, I need to find a photo of Codpiece. It, it, I didn't see a, an image. Yeah, it wasn't. There was no image on the list. Let's see if I can get get a get a picture of Codpiece. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Oh wow! All right, hold on. Let me uh, let me get a. I'm gonna share my screen in one second. Right. We're gonna we're gonna see some of this. Uh, all right. Well, if I so want to figure out how to do it, yes, it's pretty dang good. I did not have a drawing for him, unfortunately. I'll have to work on that. <laughs> all right. Can you guys see my screen? Uh, no. uh, hold on. What's up, Cross Comics? Uh, 
All right. Are you guys there? Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. Can you guys see my 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 screen? It's uh, loading. Yeah. It's loading. Oh man. All right. By somebody way, else. Uh, Christopher C. I feel like there's a uh, an interesting story behind that that comment. <laughs> I gotta know that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop sharing because some. You wanna up. send me a link? What, what's the link? I'll, I'll look it up. I'll I'll send it for you. Hold on. <clears throat> My computer is not working. <clears throat> and just a uh, heads up, I gotta I gotta duck out in like five minutes. Cool. No problem. Oh, no problem. I'm dropping it in the private chat. All right. Drop that Maybe. piece in the private. Google. See if that were that's a really big Google link. Oh, I gotta cut and paste that bad boy. All right. Yeah. Oh, well, come on. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead and pull that up, and I'll. Uh... My pleasure. My pleasure. <laughs> All right. And it's a little, it's a little fist that comes out too. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's all—it's it's like a Swiss Army knife, like a cross yeah. Swiss Army knife. Oh wow, that's cod piece, everybody. That punch in the face. <laughs> why are you humiliating? Why are <laughs> there's some others over there too? What do we got here? We got oh, that one seems a little more on the nose. <laughs> it's even easier than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh! It malfunctioned. Uh, it happens to everyone. Oh, Paff. <laughs> this oh man, this is gonna be my profile picture from now on. This is <laughs> we'll drag and drop that down more right there. Yes. <laughs> <in that> <laughs> All right, well. Oh, oh he's done. All right. All right, well, I appreciate that. Uh, I'm sure the chat appreciated that too. Oh, uh, did we lose Dan again? Oh, is he gone? Okay, I'll run through the last couple real quick unless he pops right, in. Let's do it. Number two. No, number three is Gin Genie. Okay, this again, this they don't even give any powers or story, they just have a conversation. Uh so it's created by Peter Milligan and Mike Alred Alred. Peter and Mike, we're creating this new mutant Marvel. Okay. Peter and Mike, bear with me, right? Okay, so she's got this awesome power whereby she can create these seismic shock waves equal to the amount of alcohol in her system. Oh, and she cries a lot. Marvel. <laughs> so she's basically an unstable alcoholic with the DTs. <laughs> P&M. Uh, yes, she is. Marvel. Edgy. <laughs> oh, I'm back one more time. Jeez. We're going right. to we're gonna have to kill this, unfortunately. Man. Uh, my that was internet a good one is was there absolutely... A... There was a Seth Green character he, he was talking about. I, I don't know if he ever ended up doing this, but he was making his own superhero team at one point. And one of them was this guy who could make other people uh, as drunk as he is, I think is what it was. Like if he drank, <laughs> he could like make other people feel the way he's feeling. <laughs> and so if he drank a lot, his enemies would just be, would, would just be uh, you know, disarmed and immediately. He would be as well. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to see if he actually went anywhere with that comic. <laughs> it was Seth Green's interview a long time ago. Hmm. Yeah. Did we lose uh, it again, Dan? Uh, no, I'm oh, here. Yeah. I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm just I'm messing we, with some things. So yeah, my my internet is absolute garbage right now, and I have that's all good, buddy. I, I got to run anyway. I got to do some stuff. But well, I, hey, I, it, I had a pretty great time talking about terrible Z list characters with you guys tonight. I like yeah, Cal's idea. Fun of trying to uh, do some like just lesser known, uh, but still popular characters, maybe get into some of that uh, in a future yeah. episode. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was bummed to hear about Jubilee on that list. Cause she's uh strangely enough. She's one of my favorite characters. Well, mainly because of the, the cartoon when I was growing up, I always, I always liked her because of the, the yeah. <laughs> I think it was, uh, you know, the list was, was uh bad. Like that list got better as it went down. And so she was at the very top for a reason, but still, I, I think that was a probably a bad choice pointing her in there. Yeah, there's yeah, plenty yeah. of other characters that could have filled that. Um, Especially that for the X-Men. There's all kinds of weirdos that were in the right. group. <laughs> so. All but, right, guys. Well, I got to well, run, but uh, yeah, this was fun. 
Right on, Mark. Well, thanks again. Um, and uh, I'll go ahead. I'm going to say bye to everybody, too, uh, since the Internet's crapping out. I appreciate everybody coming in and uh, hanging out. Um, D- D- uh, DJ D Show, thanks for coming in. Christopher C., who is always good for a derogatory or uh, uh, disgusting comment, but I love him anyway. Trusty, as always, my friend. Good to see you. Ichthys. Um, appreciate you coming in. Uh, and then we had Cross Comics, the man, the myth, the legend. Sexy Rick Piper was here. And uh, uh, <laughs> so anyway, I appreciate all you guys very much for being a part of it tonight. Uh, sorry, the uh, the stream was a little bit funky and just kept getting messed up. So I am currently dealing with Comcast over the last uh, 48 hours trying to get that fixed. Tell so Mutt hopefully to next stop time, to steal your internet. Next time I know. I think Mutt, yeah, Mutt's just siphoning my internet or something like that. <laughs> That's anyway, good. well, you guys have a fantastic evening. Everybody out there in the chat, thanks for uh, being with us tonight. And uh, we'll catch you on the next episode of Breaking Rad uh, in two weeks. Take it All easy, right. everybody. Good night, guys. Bye. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out, Cal, and taking up the slack while my, <laughs> my yeah. uh, internet was crapping out. But Oh, uh, no problem, anyway. man. It'll be it better was, next time. Yeah, it was, uh, it was uh, a bummer that uh, – oops. <laughs>